Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run macOS on your Windows PC using VMware. So this does take a lot of storage, so you do have to have a lot of storage and extra resources on your PC before we begin. So to begin with, you need to download these three things in this folder, and the links will be in the description. You need to download VM Workstation 16, which is the latest version. You need to download the Unlocker, which is on GitHub. All these links will be in the description. And the ISO file, which is the CD, basically, to install macOS. And this is 12 gigabytes, so beware. So it might take some time. Just install and leave it running. So first thing you want to do, once you have these three files, you want to begin by downloading the VM Workstation. And since I already have it installed, it's going to tell me change, install, or, some, or change, repair, or something like that. So for you guys, it's just going to say install. Do the typical installation, just the recommended. You just click next, and then for you, it's going to say install. For me, I'm just going to click change. And then it's going to ask you this. All you need is add work, VM Workstation Console Tools into path, and then click change, or install for you. And then... Yeah, after this, you want to extract your unlocker to unlock your VMware for macOS. And then after this is done, you just have to wait for this to finish. You want to go into your unlocker folder. And then you want to find, after this is done, find the unlock or the win install.cmd. And you want to right click and then run as administrator. This is going to stop the services, and this is also going to download stuff, so and it also might take a while, so, and then you just wait until this is done. Now, after it's done, it's going to close that window. Now, you, you want to just go back to the folder or find your copy of macOS ISO file, and then you want to extract that. Now, since this is a 12 gigabyte file, it might take a while. Now that that's done extracting, you're going to have the ISO file inside that file, and we're going to have to use that to install. So go into type here to search and then find VMware Workstation Pro, which is what we just installed. You might need a system restart before you can run it. And then click New Virtual Machine, and then just choose Typical, and then click I will install operating system later. And then for the version, cl click the Apple Mac OS X, and then choose 11.1, .1, since this is Big Sur. I'm going to just name it whatever. I'm just going to call it Mac OS. And then just pick a storage size. Yeah. And then click Finish. After this, before running it, you want to click Edit Virtual Machine Settings. You want to increase this if you have more memory that you can increase. I'm going to increase the amount of cores, and I'm going to add on Virtualize, which just improves the performance. And for CD slash DVD, I'm going to click Use ISO Image File, then Browse. And then I'm going to find the ISO file, which I just downloaded, which is the file we extracted. And then the rest is just stuff you don't need, but this is all you do need to edit. And then you can just click on power in this virtual machine. Now the first boot may take a while, so just leave it. Now after it boots on, just go ahead and choose English or whatever language. And then it's going to open this macOS recovery thing. You want to begin by going to your disk utility. And then after this loads up, you want to find the drive which you created for it, the storage drive, which is going to be called VMware Virtual SATA, and it's going to have the storage amount you allowed it. So you just want to go over here, go over here and click Erase. Uh, call it whatever you want to call it. For me, I'm going to call it Mac OS, and then choose APFS, and then just click Erase. Once it erases, just click Done. And then choose Ma install macOS Big Sur. Click continue. And click agree. Choose the drive. Click continue. And then it's going to install. So just give it a while.
No, it might randomly restart, and it's going to go into this uh, about 29 minutes remaining. This is just part of the installation process. After it's completely done installing, you should be at this page. Now find your country or region, scroll down, and find it. Next, choose continue after making sure all this is right. And then for accessibility, just click not now. Then click net continue. Choose not now. For this, you don't have to sign in with an Apple ID, it's optional, so I'm just going to click set up later. I'll click skip. I'll click agree. Agree. Now if you may notice, this is a little glitchy, but we will be fixing this right now. So here you can just choose your full name, so I'm just going to put Mark. I'll click continue. You are required to put a password, so I'm going to put some random password. Click continue. Just basically click continue for anything. This is basically just a normal setup. For any Apple device, I'm going to skip that. Uh, continue with Siri, not now. Now again, as you may notice, this is really laggy. I'm going to choose dark mode. But it's an easy fix. Click on continue. Now, you should be at the max screen once you're done. Now, it's going to be already a little less laggy after the installation thing. But now, you want to, first of all, uneject this. So, click eject. Now, to optimize your Mac, you actually need to download an additional file, which can also be found in the description. You just want to easily download it. It's also an ISO. There's going to be an ad. Just X out. And then, go here and... VM and then click manage or click settings and then over here where it says using file and CD click browse and then find the file you just downloaded click OK and this is going to detect it as basically a CD if it doesn't pop up right away go in removable devices CD and then click connect After clicking connect, it's going to pop up VMware tools. Click install VMware tools. And then just keep clicking continue, install. Now it's going to ask for your password you set up earlier. It's going to run scripts. And then it's going to tell you that this extension is blocked. So you want to click open the security preferences. And it's gonna load you up. And basically, since this is not an unknown, this is an unknown app. It's basically in a block. Cause so all you need to do is click the lock to make changes. Type in your password, and then click allow. And then click restart. Now this installation menu has to close before restarting. So just let it finish and then click restart. After it restarts, just type in your password. And then you should be able to see that you can now full screen your Mac and you can have full accessibility and it's working a little bit better. So now you can also customize your Mac and since we don't need the VMware tools anymore, you can go here in VM, removable devices, CD and SATA, and then click disconnect. Now, yeah, I did make a mistake. You first actually have to go on your Mac and then click Eject VMware Tools. 
Or you can do this, drag it into the trash can, it's also going to eject it. Remember after that, you can go here in VM. And then removal of devices, CD, and it's automatically disconnected now. So now you have your working Mac. And yeah, so if this video helped you in any way. Also, actually one more thing, click open system preferences. And also allow this to make changes. It's also going to allow for other stuff like resolution and stuff. You can go in accessibility and then unclick the lock and then type in your password. And then check VMware tools. So now you should all be set up. And if this help, if this video helped you in any way and if you liked it, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe. And yeah, see you next time.